Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update from a roulette pan collab pretty pan. I am doing this with a bunch of lovely ladies here on YouTube and Instagram and it is created by Rebecca and Alexandra and of course they are listed down below as always. They created this a few years ago so this is the round five and it's actually quite crazy that it has been going on for so long but this is the fifth round i am finally joining in and this is the last update before the finale and i have an empty because for this project i am counting my uses of the products because i just really want to get some use out of some products that i don't normally gravitate towards so i thought a roulette pretty pan would be quite good for that reason so they created a spreadsheet in excel where they have a bunch of uh, categories i think there are 50 categories on my computer here um, and you randomize six of those so so far i have decluttered three item and i have mm, yeah and i have hit goal on one item so far so it's a really great project for me at least to see if i want to keep the product or not the window is open because it's warm but the weather is so bad because it's raining so the lightning is a little different and we are in my bedroom at the moment because we have um, some visitors in the filming room and it's not looking like itself and i don't want to clean it up so here you have my bedroom so far. Let me show you the products because that is what you are here for. Let us talk about the empty for this update. It is this Kiko eyeshadow single and I chose this product for the category a product you regret buying and I did regret buying this color. I really like the Kiko eyeshadows. The color is so dark and you have... I at least have so many dark eyeshadows in my collection that I don't need anymore. I do have this in my outer corner right here um, today. So I have in total used this 20 times and I'm really excited about it. I have made some wear and maybe a slight dent here in the middle of the middle K of Kiko. So maybe you can see it is slightly used. That is 20 uses right there. Exciting so I can roll in a new product and Let's see what I get and what I choose. I only have a month left, so it's a low goal for next update. I don't think I have worn this this month. Yeah, I need to up my game if I want to hit my 20 uses goal. So far in this product, I have used this eight times, which is not enough to hit goal on 20. So I need to step up my game to hit the goal by the finale. Yeah, I cleared out some space on my camera and now we're good to go for the rest of the products, I believe. Did I mention what this is? This is the W7 Lip Tripper Holographic Lip Gloss. So it's a little bit hard to wear, so that is why I don't have the tallies on this yet. I will try to remember. It's hard though. Then we have the category of something from a lesser known brand. Trended Up is a German brand, so I believe it's not as known as, for example, uh, Benefit or Too Faced or something like that. So I chose this Cadell eyeliner. I have used it in total 10 times. So I have used it a few times this month, with, which is amazing. I have it in here in the inner portion of my lower lash line. And I have used it a few times on my top. Uh, it's not as opaque as I wanted it to. I think it is going to be really nice if I don't have an eyeshadow on and just do an eyeliner, a normal line with this. I need to use it 10 times and then it will be done by the finale and I think I can do that. I think I can. Then we have a product with cute packaging and I chose my W7 Casino Blush Highlight and Contour Palette. It is looking like this. You can see it's very reflective because this is a mirror. This is what it looks like. I have been focusing on this. Oh! This is done as well. <laughs> I just remembered. I wanted to work on this blush shade and just wear down the uh, print. You can kind of see the print still, but it is now a dent. So I have worn it away. You just you can just still see it. Um, but I am calling this done because I really want to focus on the blush in my whole collection project pan. I can call this done. So actually two products. I can pull this update. Which is 
exciting. Then I got a category, a product from Colourpop, but because I don't have any Colourpop products, I replaced it with W7. Then I chose my W7 Princess Potion Complexion Booster and Primer. I don't like this as a primer because it's too hydrating for my oily T-zone. So I produce more oil than I think is needed. So I actually use this as a nighttime serum or night cream and it's actually really nice and my skin is really hydrated in the morning. And I actually don't feel like I need a daytime moisturizer but I do it anyway. So it's really really nice as a nighttime serum. I can't really count this so maybe I have used this in total 10 times since I rolled it in. I stopped counting. Uh, but I, I can't use this up. I, I really can't. But I'm really, really happy that I have started to use this. It's still in my primer category in my inventory, but I think by January, if this is not done, it is going into my skincare because I don't use it as a primer anymore. I'm happy that I figured out a way to use it and actually remember to use it now. We have the last item or the last category for now. It is something that is special to you and I chose this is the Lauder lipstick and if you don't know this story you can s watch a few updates back and I am going to tell you how this is special to me. It is the Estee Lauder Pure Color in Pink Berry. don't know if you can see that. Maybe not because it's reflective but it is the lipstick I have on my lips right now. I have been loving using this lipstick lately so I am up to 16 times and my goal is of course 20 like the others so I need to wear it four more times and then I hit my goal so I can definitely do that no problem because this is a beautiful shade the birds are out but yeah this is how the bullet is looking like now so you can see it is getting smaller if you have um, followed along in this project and the top kind of flakes off sometimes, so that is why it is getting more flat in the top. I'm really, really happy about this and I love using it. So I'm really excited that I get to use it. That was all the products I have in this project and because I hit goal on two products, I am going to roll in two new ones. So let's choose two new categories. I'm excited for this part. I am pulling out pretty random and I am Randomizing 1 to 50 because that is how many categories there are. I am of course not going to choose the same categories that I already have. I have marked them in my spreadsheet so I know them. So let's choose the first product category. 25. That is a product you would only buy on sale. I think I can do that. A new one. 47. I think I had that. Didn't, no, I didn't. A product you are currently loving. Ooh. Okay, I will be right back with my products and then we can talk about the goals when I pick them. So I chose my two products. It was actually really hard. I thought they were very nice categories and easy categories. And I, I was wrong. <laughs> the first category that I got is a product that you are currently loving. I am loving this W7 HD foundation and it is a satin finish and it is matching me really nicely. It doesn't look like it but I am wearing it today and I think it looks nice. I really can't see anything. So I have used this like one or two weeks now. I'm really really loving it and it is the foundation that is in my top three of all time. Mm, yeah, I'm I'm about the 12 hour mark right there and I have thought about what I can do in a month. I can finish a foundation if I wear it every single weekday and more maybe six days a week. I can finish this in three months. Four months if I can cut it down a little bit. So maybe I can get under foundation right here there so that would mean underneath that writing right there so hopefully i can do that i am pretty sure i can so that is my goal for that product then i got the category a product i would only buy on sale i have not bought this on sale but 
if I could do it over, I would have bought it when it went on sale. This is the MDK Vice Fall Palette. I am panning a few shades for my Harry Potter product pan. So I thought it was going to be nice to do another shade in this. So for this product, I am going to add in this light pink. It is called Fast Ball. Let me see if I can do a close-up or something. It is that shade right there. I'm panning a kind of purple eyeshadow from, for my single ladies and my man matte and I think it would be really nice with that. I am panning the orange right here and the bluish green right there. I think those colors would be good together all in. I think it's going to be a nice shade to use. So I want to use that 10 or 15 times. If I can, 15, 10, fine. But I want to get some use out of that shade because I didn't use that shade in my two weeks one palette that I just had with this. That is everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm really excited about it because I get to use some products that I wouldn't normally choose. I hope you would check out Rebecca and Alexandra if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel so don't miss out on the finale and see if I hit my goals on everything. I hopefully will. I, I really hope so. That would be so nice. So I hope you guys are doing well. And until my next video, please take care.